Bwana asifiwe kila mtu. Leo njema pili. Asubuhi nimeamka na furai. Nimeamka na pumua. Nina uhai. Nimeamka. Ni, 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 ni Nina njaa. Nina uhai. Nikashukuru. Alienipa huo wakati. Alieniumba. Nikashukuru. And I was so happy that I came to the kitchen and realized that I had no food. Let me make this one clear. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, verses 4, it says, Go ye unto the desert. The Lord was speaking to somebody who was living in the confirmation of plenty food. But the Lord told him, leave a lot of food and go somewhere to the desert where there is no food. That sounds unclear. That sounds not fulfilling. He doesn't justify why the Lord wants to take you from plenty to the land of nothing. So many a times we come, and let me make this one very clear, there is no other way I can make this any more clear. If you have plenty, if you no, no lack. If you always have what you need, and maybe more, like most of us do, we always have extra more. We always want a little bit extra more. We tend to give ourselves a little bit extra more. We tend to take away from ourselves a little bit more. We tend to cut our limitation a little bit extra more. We don't go and explore our talents like it should be a little bit extra more. We always want to sleep a little bit extra more. Now watch this. This guy was told to leave the land of plenty to go to the desert did not understand because he wants a little bit more of this and nothing to do with that but he had no choice the Lord had made it clear you have to leave this land of plenty and go to the land of scarcity here is the reason that I, as a human being, was there. The Lord would take you from where it's, that there is plenty to land where there is not for you to bring up what you lack because you already know what you want. You know the potential of your consumption. The person on the desert knows only the desert. So the Lord is sending him to be the light of the desert. 